We have stalactites and stalagmites in Minecraft. From what? Dripstone. Now, how do you get it and where do you find it? And what can you use it for? Well, I'll tell you that in a moment, but guess what? You can actually get an infinite lava source. That's right. So as you can see, we have a couple different blocks here. This is the dripstone block above us and below us. And right here, we have pointed dripstone. Now, if they're hanging from the ceiling, they are stalactites. And if they are growing from the floor, they are stalagmites. Now they can be found in dripstone caves, uh, but that will be coming in 1.18. Uh, in 1.17, you can find them in regular caves. The easiest way to collect dripstone is with a pickaxe. You can just break it like that, and we got a piece there. And same with this. You can also obtain dripstone from a wandering trader. Uh, this one has it right here. If you have pointed dripstone but no regular dripstone block, you can actually craft it just like this. If you have a water source above dripstone, and we have pointed dripstone here, you can see it's dripping, hence dripstone. We also have one down here. Now what's going to happen is, very slowly, these are going to grow. So you see, these are renewable, but it does take a long time. And there we go. We got the stalactite growing. Stalagmite can also grow, and they will grow into each other. It's grown a bit more, but if we throw a trident, as you can see, it breaks, and we got a piece out of it. So it does instantly break. Let's try it on here, and there we go. Got plenty of pointed dripstone. What happens if you break the block above these? That happens. We get damage by a falling stalactite. Now what if we have the opposite? We have stalagmites down here, and above here we have some cows. So if we break these blocks, they will get injured. But as you can see, they're standing on top. More about that in a moment. There we go. Stalagmites act a lot like stairs, so if you hop up you can climb up the stairs like that. It's very interesting. You can uh, kind of make like a ladder or a staircase, which is very, very steep. So here we have a bit of an experiment. Up there we've got lava, right there we have water. So you can see these are dripping very, very slowly. Look in here, there's nothing. Look in here, there's nothing. Okay, so lava drips more slowly into a cauldron than water does. So you'll fill this a lot faster than this. But what this does give us is an infinite lava source. So we're going to speed things up here. So game rule, random tick speed, let's say, let's go to 2000. And just watch and see if these fill up. And there we go. The lava actually filled more quickly which is interesting. If you're interested in an infinite lava farm, I do have a tutorial on that in the top right hand corner. And that is dripstone. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any ideas about what you would do with dripstone. I mean, there are some creative ideas in addition to the infinite lava source. If you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing more easy Minecraft tutorials, then please consider subscribing. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.